So students, we have already learned how to find square roots by using prime factorization method. In the last video, I have given that how to find it by prime factorization method. But sometimes the number might be quite big or the numbers may be such that it is a square of say 29 and 29 is a prime number. So obviously we will never jump to 29 directly. You will start with 2, 3, 5, 7 and then you will go to 29. So in that cases it becomes very hectic. So there is another way where you need not try, need not think that what prime number am I going to use. You can use a different way of tech, uh, method so that the answer comes. Uh, automatically without thinking that what prime number I am going to use. I am not saying that you don't to think in this method. You have to think in this method also. But not like that that which prime number I should go. It's not like this that you have to jump directly to 29 or directly to 39. So for that we go for this method known as division method. Say I take a number 144. Now in this method one thing you have to uh, make sure you have to see whether the number of digits is odd or even number of digits. I am not saying the number. Number of digits in the sense say if I take 121, so how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3. So 3 digits means there are odd digits. Say I take another number, um, say if any number, I'm not I'm not saying that it's a square number or not, I'm just taking it one number, well, say 4279. I don't know whether that is square root number or not, I'm just taking it. So how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are even digits. So why do I need to know this? Because whenever we go for this method, we make grouping grouping of two digits at a time that means we pair the numbers so if it is if the number of digits are odd obviously you cannot make pairs of numbers because one one number will come single so in that case the first number is taken single and the other two will be taken as pair but if there are even number of digits then we don't have any problem we can easily take them as pairs so this thing you have to see first before starting the sum so here we have three digits so obviously the first one will come single and then the next two will come in a pair so what is the first step is that the first step you see when you have one i have to find out a number whose square will be one or something less than one so obviously you will not get any number less than one here so it will be you have to find something which is equal to one so obviously square of one is one 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 is one we know that one into one will give you one so i have taken the divisor as one and the quotient also as one this one i have taken myself it was not given in the question you have to find out what square you have to use so one into one gives you one so no remainder in the next step generally in division we take one number at a time but in this case in square root for thing the pairing of number that i've done both the number will come together at a time that is 44 now in the next case the divisor will change the divisor will change forget about this too how i got this one what is the first divisor that i got uh, quotient that i got here it was one double that number or multiplied by two so one into two gives you two now after getting this you have to find out what should I put here, what number should I put here that so that I get this answer. But also remember whatever you put here that will also come here. So say I had 20, I had 2 here. I need to find out something so that I can multiply with the same digit and I get this answer. Say if I start with 1 suppose, already 2 was there, I have first tried it 1. Now when I put 1 here, I have to think 1 here also that means 21 and here I'll put 1 so 21 into 1 but that gives you 21 it is not giving your answer next I tried 2 that means in the second place I am putting 2 so as I put 2 here then I have to think 2 here also that means you get the number 22 here and then you have to multiply it by 2 so whatever you are putting here you will multiply with the same number so 22 into 2 gives you 44 so 20 we have or we need 44 that means the digit that we put here is 2 and the digit that will come here that is also 2 so 22 multiplied by 2 gives you 44 your remainder is 0 so once you get the remainder 0 your sum is done you have to find the square root of 144 so square root of 144 will be the quotient that is 12 so this is how you find out the square root let us take another example of four digits 7569 so because there are four digits so we can easily make pairs two here and two here now we'll start with a squared number we'll take a square of a number which will be either 75 or just less than 75 so if I go with 9, 9 into 9 gives you 81 which is greater than 75. So we will go to the previous number that is 8, 8 into 8, 64. So that is done. Now we subtract them, 5 minus 4, 1, 7 minus 6, 1. And as I said, both the numbers will come together, not one at a time. Both will come together, so 6, 9. And the next step was, the first quotient that you get, you will take double of this. So 8, 8 double will be 16, 8 to the 16. So I took 16 here. Now as I said you have to put something here 
and then you multiply the same digit so that I get this number. So if I tried other numbers, I have tried it 6 here first and then I multiplied by 6 only. I already had 16 and then I put uh, in the third place I put 6 and I multiplied by 6 also and then I get 996 which is not the number that I need. So I'll go with next number that is 7. So I put in the third digit as 7 and multiplied by 7 again. So 7 7 is 49, 7 6 is 42, plus 4 46, 7 is 7 plus 4 11. So I got the required number that is 1169. That means the digit that I have to place here and here will be 7. So 167 into 7 will be 1169. So ultimately the square root of 7569 is 87. We can do this for decimal numbers also. The same procedure will be used. 39.69 will take pairs. 6 6 is 36 because 7 7 j will be 49 which is more after subtracting you get 3 now as rule we should take these two numbers we will do that but because there is a decimal here first so we'll put the decimal first here and then i'll take these two digits so 369 now the next step is double of 6 will be 12 and then we have to think what digit should be placed here so as i found here that if i put 3 here and then multiply it by 3 that is 123 into 3 i get the number so the answer is 6.3 one more example by doing step by step say here you see three digits are there so obviously the first one will come single because there are odd digits so when there are odd number of digits the first one will come single and then everything will come in pair now the first step is to find out the square of a number which is either equal to 6 or less than 6 so 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 3 into 3 is 9 which is bigger than 6 so we'll stick with 2 2 into 2 4 so 6 minus 4 gives you 2. Now in the next step as I said both the numbers will come together. So 2, 7, 6. Now what will be, what will be the next division? Because the first quotient that you got is 2. So twice of uh, this. That means multiple, this quotient will be multiplied by 2. So 2 to the 4. Now I need to find out something here. And that same digit will be placed here. And then after multiplication we need to get this. So if I put say 5. That means I have to multiply it by 5. So 5 5 is 25, which is less than 276. Let me try the next digit 6. So if I put 6 here, then I have to multiply it by 6. 6 6 is 36. 6 4 is 24 plus 3, 27. So I got that means I have to put here 6. And if I put here 6, then I have to put 6 here also. So 46 into 6, 276. So ultimately you got your square root that is square root of 676 equal to the quotient that is 26. So this is how you do, you do the square root by using um, division method.